Hello, welcome to another video of where we get these stables ready for winter. So, um, we've done a few jobs. Finally got my whip holder. So they're no longer stored in this bucket and as I walk through the door, not from flying. So we've got the whip holder, that's done. And here, down there somewhere, we bought the light we need for the washroom. They just need to put that up for me because it is solar powered and above the washroom, it's a load of trees. So they don't actually know where they're gonna put the solar panel to get the the most light during the day to make that light worthwhile but yes now it's onto these stables so it's now time to paint the inside of the stables we do this every year because they just look dark and dingy and now it's pitch black when i'm down here of a morning so I have to muck them out with the head torch on and it's still just dark and dingy though. So we need to freshen up these white walls because it reflects the light better and then I can see the bed better. I did wash this back wall just the other day. I will insert the clip now. I did at one point contemplate my life choices and wonder what the hell I was doing. But as you can see, Gam, um, this is Champ Stable, Champ poos, backs up to that back wall and pulls stra uh, poos straight there. And it just runs down the back wall. Makes it so clean and easy to muck out because that's it, that's his poos, that'd be it. Everything else is fresh and clean. You can throw that upside, clear that back bit, five minutes and he's mucked out. But it just means this gets filthy every single day. So yes, so that's going to need another quick wash and then we can get on to painting all this and freshening it up. I've got all four stables to do, but I think we're just going to get one done in this video. But yeah, the plan is to start with champs. So first things first, we're going to muck out and put all the clean straw in the middle of the stable so then I can get round the whole edge of the stable. I'm not even sure whether you saw much of that because of how dark and dingy it is already but that's that first wall having the first bit of paint on it this top bit was white years ago but we had a um, hay rack 
on there. Um, it's just got dusty and dirty over time. So we've taken that down. Yes, look at the difference already. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep going with this. This bit is extremely satisfying to do. It has been washed again. It is just years of poop that's gone down there and actually stained the wall. It does need replacing. All the backs of the stables are gonna be replaced at some point. But yeah, I've been really looking forward to doing this back wall. So let's do this bit. So that is the first coat of white done everywhere. Gonna need a second coat on it, but definitely I think it's looking a lot brighter. Still got to do the black trim around the bottom, but I can't do that till this white has dried um, to get the edge. Otherwise that would just turn gray, but yeah, I think that's looking a lot better than it was. So it is now the next day and we're back in Champ Stable. Um, hold on, let me turn the camera around. There we go, that puts some light on it. But yes, all the white is dry. As you can see, Champ's already pooed down the back wall um, just in the first night he's been in here. But yes, now it is time to go on to these black trims. Um, and get them touched up. So I've mucked out his stable again already and put all the clean straw into the middle so we can get around the whole of the edge. But yeah, let's get onto this.
There you go, that is his stable all painted and ready. Just gonna wait for it to dry and then put the bed back down. But yeah, so that's his all done, ready for winter. Let me know down below what jobs you're doing to get prepared for winter. And I will add a clip in here now from yesterday morning that I took to show the difference because it it's the afternoon you can't see too much difference on painting the stables now but I'll uh, as I say add a clip in from yesterday morning six o'clock in the morning so it's pitch black and you can really see a difference then morning. I have got a head torch on it's six o'clock pitch black outside and this is Champ's stable, so I haven't painted this one yet. And it just looks a bit dark and dingy. Um, so I'll show you what donuts look like in a minute. And then this is donut stable. It's just so much brighter. And then I can see more um, of the straw, the mess that they've made. Once it's been painted, this does need a second coat but his stable is pretty much done. 